All right, and thank you once again for coming to check us out here today at New York Attorneys. Thank you, <laughs> fuck. Hey, thanks again for coming to check us out here today at New York Coternix. Been a little while since we made a video, so today we are doing a contest. We're giving away another New York Coternix t-shirt and a pair of quail egg scissors. Uh, the details of that contest are gonna be at the end of the video, so make sure you watch the whole video and stay tuned. Uh, also, leave a like for the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell just so you're notified anytime we do leave a new video on the channel and today we are going to be talking about winterizing getting ready for the cooler months it started snowing today here in buffalo new york and it's october 30th so we're going to go ahead and do a little bit of light preparation i'm going to show you how to make a uh, waterer for your quail because this watering system that i have here is going to freeze over during the months of you know december january February, probably March also. So we're gonna make sure that the quail have water all the time. We're gonna have to come out here and replace it because like I said, that watering system isn't gonna work. Let's get started. All right, and again, as I mentioned before, this watering system, I mean, it's great for the warmer months, but this isn't gonna work out that well for when it gets colder outside. So what I'm gonna do it's going to make a uh, little apparatus for the quail to drink from but not get into. And I'm just going to have to come out here and replace it every day during the winter months. Okay, Coternix. So if you look, we have a bunch of birds in here. And uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to clean this out and I'm going to get some hay. I'm going to get some hay that we have here. I'm gonna get it in here so they can, you know, do their thing. And that can act as a little bit of insulation. Not complete, you know, insulation, but a little bit more than what they already have. They do have a covered area already as opposed to the open area that's over here. So uh, this should be enough, but I'm gonna provide them with a little bit more. Coternix. Right. And we're gonna do the same thing for these little guys down here, Coternix. I'm gonna get some hay so they can do what they want with it get comfortable and we're also like I said gonna do the Coternix watering system Coternix so I'm just gonna add Coternix some of this hay over here and let them decide what they're gonna do with it I'm actually just gonna put this in here and come and clean it out later make the job a little bit quicker Coternix. All right, Coternix. So this one's all fluffed up. Looks like they're ready to dig into whatever they have here. They're pretty curious, Coternix. And uh, we'll come back and Coternix check on them. All right, Coternix. Now we're going to get down over here, put some of that hay right at the lower level with these guys, Coternix, and see what they do with it. All right, there you go, Coternix. Ah, okay, Coternix, check me out, Coternix. <laughs> ah, I'm just kidding, Coternix. Anywho, I'm gonna go ahead and use this hole saw attached to my drill. I'm gonna drill some holes in here. Uh, I'm using a one inch hole saw, the heads, will fit in here and hopefully I can actually do this on camera without having to stabilize it. All right, we were able to do that. No problem. So we got our first hole. We want to keep the hole, you know, about an inch, inch and a half up from the bottom so we can get as much water in here as possible. Okay, Coternix. So I managed to get two of these prepped out. We've got the holes sawed out. I'm gonna go ahead and use some sandpaper and get the rough edges out of here so it doesn't get into the water. I'm gonna get that done. Then we're just gonna use the lids that came with these and cover them up. That way, again, 
quail can't get in, but they can get to the water. I'm going to make a few more of these. Of course, uh, this isn't going to be enough for all the quail that I have. And I would have done more holes, but the integrity starts to just fall apart once you, you know, get past a certain amount. So I didn't want to ruin any more than I already had. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead, like I said, finish this off and then we'll go back outside. Back outside, Caternix to check up on our Caternix birds, Caternix. Now, you can probably see the snow now. I'm gonna see if they did anything with this hay that I left out here. It looks like they've already scattered it all around. I'm gonna put a little bit more in. I'm expecting the same down here, of course. Now I'm going to come back and put a little bit more just so they have, you know, a little bit of comfort. And again, and again, it's only acting as an insulating material. It's not going to, you know, provide them ultimate warmth. But again, this area is enclosed. This area is enclosed. They come out here for their food and water, uh, you know, to the open areas. And of course, we have it roofed off. Now, the snow. You know, it will build up in areas where I don't quite know yet because I just built this over the summer. But we will find out. Well, actually, I built it over the spring. But we will find out uh, in the coming months exactly how the snow is going to pile on here. Again, I'm going to come back out here with a little bit more hay. Keep it clean and uh, I'll keep you posted. Now, as far as the waterers, uh, what I did with those, because of the fact that, you know, they're a little bit softer plastic, they did split and the splits trended downwards. So I took some silicone gel and, you know, fixed that up. So I'm waiting for that to dry before I fill that up with water, put the lids on. We're going to get that in there. And again, we're going to, you know, make sure that they stay nice and safe and warm. Shovel a path out here as the snow starts to pile up and I'm going to keep you Caternix updated. Again, Caternix, if you... Uh, hit that notification bell you will have our winter updates I'm gonna do a whole playlist uh, the winter series or something along those lines Caternix anyway uh, thanks for coming to check us out Caternix 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 all right Caternix and thank you once again for coming to check us out here today at New York Caternix if you have any Caternix comments or questions, Caternix, please feel free to leave those below, Caternix. Also, leave a Caternix like for the video and subscribe to the channel for more. Hit the Caternix notification bell down below so you Caternix notified anytime I do leave a new video on the channel, Caternix. And as far as the contest, you can probably tell by now, what I'm going to ask is that you go back, watch the video again, and place a comment with how many times I said the word Caternix in this video. Well, the first person to get it right, the first person to tell us in the comments how many times I said the word Caternix in this video will win a New York Caternix t-shirt and a pair of quail egg scissors. Uh, for now, this will only be open to my subscribers in the United States, and that's only because of shipping. So again, continental United States, uh, we'll be shipping away a New York Caternix t-shirt Caternix in the size that you need it in and a pair of quail egg scissors all branded with the New York Caternix logo Caternix. So again, leave a like for the video, subscribe to the channel, make sure you hit that notification bell. Those are all also qualifications for this, uh, well pre-qualifications for this contest. You do have to be a subscriber, leave a like for the video and hit that notification bell also. Now, again, you have to go back, watch the video, tell us how many times we said the word Caternix in this video. And if you get it right in the comments down below, first person will get that whatever size New York Caternix t-shirt and a uh, pair of quail egg scissors, courtesy of New York Caternix Caternix. Mm -hmm.